steam engine. So it might be worth it. I mean, just look at it. Oh my goodness. Look at that. I mean, it would be so unique to just gas stack the truck. I just tighten up all the valve stems and now we're good to go. There we go. New 5 inch exhaust for the Silverado. Let's see how she sounds. video I got my original stock GM muffler my original stock Cummins muffler and exhaust all the way back and, uh, and some other parts of the Ram exhaust I also got part of the five inch straight pipe exhaust back there as well so back there what we have left is the reminisce reminisce so what we have back there is what's left of the first mod that I ever did to this Silverado and that is actually a muffler I know most people probably do an intake or something a little bit more simple, but no, I actually did a Flowmaster Super 40 Series muffler that I'm still running on the truck today, and I got that mod about four years ago. I mean, I probably prolonged it living in this salty area by painting it and sanding it whenever it would get a little bit rusty, but now I've kind of kind of let it go a little bit, so it's probably not going to last too much longer. And let me know in the comments below what exhaust I should go with in the future, whether that be just a muffler, a full exhaust system, dual exhaust system what type of inch pipe, what type of brand, and of course, the actual type of muffler would be cool to know as well. Yeah, man, uh, you may be asking, why am I getting all rid of all this stuff? I held on to it for so long. I'm just trying to get rid of all this stuff, just, well, just junking up and taking up a lot of space when realistically, I'm building up more and more space coming from other mods and stuff, so. It's basically out with the old and with the new is, is what I'm trying to do here and I don't think I'm ever going to use this kind of stuff and it's just I, I've kept a lot of parts as well. I'm not getting rid of everything. I'm just getting rid of things that I know I'm not going to use and there's no point of keeping or holding on to anymore. So you guys you guys probably understand what I'm what I'm doing here and uh, just going to the scrap metal place now one other there one other time with the Cummins. So I, yeah, you guys should be familiar with it by now if you saw the other video. Not too much to see, just kind of a big, big junk pile of metal objects. Not only all these truck scraps, but they also pull everything out of them. People take all the parts they need for their trucks and it only makes sense. So yeah, it would be cool to do some kind of five inch exhaust on this puppy. <laughs> Crazy how that little section of five inch pipe can mean so much of a difference. I mean, the sound increase is honestly incredible opposed to just not having that thing on there at all sure feels good to have a nice clean windshield oh wait a minute it's kind of crazy how i biked all this way last time i mean look at this we're just middle of nothing out here you know what i mean just past the tack mulch and feed store a little business pretty cool and they got a field to back themselves out of all oh my goodness Taking a turn too quickly. Off road spot right there, nice. Looks like we got a first gen mag cars here. Damn, look at those old forwards. Gotta love that body style, man. And I wonder what happened to that wrecked ram. It's all spray painted and whatnot, two tone spray paint. Guys, we are back on the road. Got about eight or nine dollars for all that crap, believe it or not, not that much. Didn't really need any of that stuff, so it's all gone anyway. And you should have seen my tires, all that gravel dirt, dust or whatever on it. Really brings out the tread, and gotta love the tread on these tires, man. It looks sweet. So we're still out here in the countryside. Looks like Idaho or something, but find our way out of here. And yeah, got a lot more stuff to do. Hopefully we have enough time. Not really sure. Wow. 
Would you look at that? Somehow I ended up right near Pinchot Lake. That's crazy. I'm still not familiar with these roads out here. Maybe someday. Let, let's get going. So a little bit before this point, I was actually biking out all the way out here with Austin before. I biked out here with Mike and Austin crashes into me and there was cars going by so I could have gotten run over. Luckily we did not, I just got scraped up. This happened probably about, I'd, I don't know, I'd say a couple, couple months ago. Maybe even, yeah, maybe even last year. Now that's the way to live, my dog. Look at that, that's freaking sweet. Off-road beast. Wow, there it is. That is actually Mike's truck right there. He's at work. Guess it's finally hitting me now. Got rid of what was, what was really mine. I mean, the GM muffler, man, the silent truck. That was the number one thing that I wanted to change about this truck at the time. A couple friends and we all had trucks. A lot of other people had trucks there, at least for my class. And what I noticed is that everyone had older trucks or they had trucks that had loudness and sound to them. And I I wanted a loud truck too because I thought it was cool. And they introduced me to that and I thought, you know, I want my truck to be loud. So uh, that's whenever I switched out my muffler and I've always held on to the other one for whatever reason for like four years. Now it's gone and the straight pipe piece that I didn't use is now gone. I think that's for an eight foot long bed or you can use that for a mega cab or something just for a longer configuration truck, of course. I'm thinking probably for the eight foot long bed and then you would use that piece. So they sell it as a universal exhaust, five inch exhaust kit. So I got rid of that. And the other part of the stock exhaust, which was the muffler back paint, it was all painted before I took it off the truck and a piece that connects the to the cat to the turbo and well that piece actually connects it to the dpf filter as well getting rid of it all man it's all gone i'm here at the post if you can see that we are at the united states post office about to ship out a package i loaded that up earlier today so let's go take that out it's a laptop that i bought a while ago and i threw in some chevrolet badging and an actual decal as well for free i don't even know if they like vehicles I'm just gonna do that anyway all right, got the package. Got the package right here. It's going to Texas. Let's go. Round service or whatever is the cheapest one. Sometimes priority mixes in and is actually the same price. That's pretty cool, but not this time. All right, so let's get back on the road now. Wasn't able to get a phone call back. What's up? I just met Mike at the Planet Fitness. Guys probably thought he was dead, but he's still alive. So that pickup truck or whatever that Chevy thing is, when I initially saw that, I started laughing so much. The thing was hilarious. But look at that truck. Look at that big exhaust tip. It's a third gen Cummins. And yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm sorry about that. I'm just trying to get out of here. But yeah, third gen Cummins. The thing is sick. Oh my goodness. Off-road heaven, the freaking Jeep was on that car. The Stormy Warren Show, 5 a.m. weekdays on the What's going on? Are you still alive? Everyone thought you were dead. Everyone thought you were dead. <laughs> Alright man, there's gotta be a good route that we can do. I'll just go kayaking tomorrow, bro. 
<laughs> All right, well, let's at least just creek side it out. No. And we'll, it's this a way. Route. We've done it before, and it's nothing special. How about this body style, though? This one? Yeah. Disgusting. <laughs> There's the VX. So what's the update on the mods? No mods. You see. went to the shop the other day. Yeah, to fix some uh, random shit. What? Oh, and... Hey, that's personal. <laughs> what? <laughs> you, said you don't know where that's from. Uh, I don't. <laughs> Alright. Alright, what's the plan? Go to my house and get the bike out. What? It's gotta be a circuit. Guess I better get up at 5 a.m. for this excursion tomorrow. Yeah, you'll be up for seven hours before I'm even off. <laughs> All right, well, don't ditch out on the plan this time because this is gonna be one of the biggest trips and I don't think people are gonna expect what's gonna happen. <laughs> Out of the day by day, just driving somewhere, going to the gym, getting food, oh, yeah. talking about the truck to this. So like, oh, yeah, it's a 